Hello, everyone. Warmly welcome to my presentation about the paper Who Will Survive and Revive and Go in the Epidemic? Analysis about POI visit behavior in Wuhan via checking records. Here is Zheng Yuhan, a PhD student at the Department of Electronic Engineering of Tsinghua University under the direction of Professor Yongli. The talk consists of five parts. First is the background. As we all know, huge impact on social economics have been identified after the outbreak of COVID-19, which began exponentially spreading after the beginning of 2020. As the first epicenter in China, Wuhan received greatest impact due to the COVID-19. We want to investigate how megacities with more than 10 million citizens react to the epidemic. We adopt a POI check-in dataset with more than 140,000 POIs in Wuhan city. More importantly, we have two parallel timelines for comparison study. This is the overall structure of our method. After the pre-processing, we alien our data and perform trend extraction for further analysis. First is the decline stage, where the visits continually decline due to the lockdown policies. We find that all POI categories are less lively compared with the same period in 2019. During the pre-lockdown phase, businesses receive the smallest effect, while shopping and tourist attractions received greatest influence. People tend to maintain visit for essential POIs prior than non-essentials. In conclusion, the POI visit behavior is greatly suppressed, and non-essential POIs are the most vulnerable part of urban life. From previous analysis, we find that some specific POI categories already had a greater decline than 2019 before the lockdown. These POI categories are more sensitive to the epidemic, acting as a canary in the core main. We want to further identify these early births before the official release of lockdown policies. We calculate the average visit in the first week as a baseline and compare it with the last day of the pre-lockdown freeze. Entertainment, food, hotel, and shopping demonstrate a greater reduction over 35%. All these categories share a higher reduction than normal times, which means the consumer categories are more sensitive to the epidemic. According to the relative visit change of the above early birth categories, we investigate the importance toward the early sensitivity. Entertainment and food POIs are most sensitive that are responsible for nearly 60% of vivid change of these early bird categories. Medical and shopping POIs have equal sensitivity for the upcoming epidemic, while hotels are relatively insensitive. We further investigate the revival pattern of these POIs. We obtain four different revival patterns. For food, entertainment, and hotel, these POIs got the greatest shock during the lockdown and have the slowest to recover in post-lockdown freeze. It fits our understanding since these POI do not belong to life essential ones. Shopping, medical, and school category received moderate impact. Businesses POI received the smallest effect during the epidemic and got recovered before the unlockdown. For the tourist attractions, it also suppressed greatly. However, it got an early recovery before the unlockdown and reached a very high level during the post-lockdown freeze. In the last part, we investigate the preservance of the city. POI act as the basic infrastructure of a city. Given lots of POI got closed down during the epidemic, it will be very hard for the revival stage. Here, we use the number of POIs as an indicator. We compare the number of POIs before the epidemic and after the epidemic as a comparison study to understand the resilience of Wuhan city. We find that although all POI categories have less POIs after the lockdown, the degree of reduction is limited. The overall number of POIs maintains stable during the lockdown. We do not observe large-scale closures in Wuhan POIs, which is a good sign of the city resilience. Finally is the conclusion. First, we introduce the POI visit timeline of 2019 and 2020. Second, we review the most vulnerable part of urban life and the epidemic impact. Third, we identify the early birth in pre-lockdown phase, which will be beneficial for understanding the early reaction of the society towards upcoming epidemic and lockdown policies. Fourth, 
we recognize different revival patterns of POF at four times, which correlates with POI functions. Finally, we highlight the resilience of CT during the epidemic by the statistic of POI numbers. Existence of POI infrastructures is important for the fast recovery of social economy after the public emergencies. Here are some important references. Thank you for your attention. Any question is welcomed.